Hello everyone, it's Mae Larson here and for this tutorial I'm going to be working with one of Scrap's wing chipboard album and you get a pack of five and the fabric that I'm using is one that was um, gifted to me by Nancy Thomas so thank you so much, this is one of my favorite um, fabrics and she was able to find it for me. Anyway, so like always what we're going to do is we are going to trace and one of the neat things is that um, Kimberly Purple has been talking to us about these brothers scan and cut and basically what she said if you have that machine you can scan the pattern in and you can cut out your fabric to match up the album so I think that is such an awesome thing that she has discovered for us and um, I think that is awesome. So thank you so much, Kimberly, for keeping us informed on that and for testing it out for us so that those of us that don't have a machine, we can know about it before we buy it. So I am not um, the greatest person when it comes to technology. So um, I had tried the Brother Scanning Cup, but I couldn't understand it because when there's instructions, I skip. I don't like reading all that stuff, ladies. I just want to craft. That's it. I just want to craft. So, um, but Kimberly is figuring all that for us. So I appreciate you, Kimberly, for doing that for people like me that um, don't like technology. And to me, that's like mumble jumble. Like, oh my God, I don't know how to figure any of that stuff out. And I get crazy. All right. So we're going to cut along here, making sure I don't cut my mat, and then we're going to do the same I don't know what, <clears throat> for my next one. Let's bring that all out. All right. <clears throat> so we're just going to trace along our fabric of choice. Once we have that, then we can cut along and start decorating. Now, I'm going to do something that I have not done in a while. Well, in forever. Um, <clears throat> I have a little angel up in heaven that's always watching over me. So I'm going to attempt to put some of her images on this album. <clears throat> so it's going to be a little journey and I invite you guys to, to this journey where I am going to try to scan some of my mom's pictures to add to this album. Um, So we're going to do that. We're going to work on, <clears throat> you know, scanning some pictures of my mom and adding them here to these, this, this album that I'm going to, let's see if uh, Janine will give me some of the little quotes that she used for my inspirational fabric book that she made for me, which I so appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> So, I'm going to cut along. Anyway, we're going to do this and then we'll be back because I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me cut. So, anyway, um, we are going to cut and we will be back. So, we have my pages all covered up. The pages are completely covered. And I have gone through and I've selected some pictures of my mother and now I'm going to go around the bottom edge here and put some of this mesh trim um, that I have in my stash and we're just going to really pleat here and there to give it a little bit more extra pleats um, as we go along make this beautiful album and now this album I know it's in perfect time for 
um, you know, Mother's Day is around the corner and you have a little angel that you would like to um, make this for, it's perfect, perfect time. So, and this album is available at One Scrap, so be sure to stop by there and check it out. I think they have the, the wings in a smaller version as well, if I'm not mistaken. So, all right. In other words, they have the, the wings as in shipboard uh, embellishments. Okay, so we're just going to move along here. I'm going to probably put a lot of lace because my mom had it. She was a frou kind of person. She really was. Um, always had her nails done. She always smelled pretty. Um, her shoes and her purse always had to match. Um, always had her hair done. Um, so she was all about looking good. Around there. I wasn't sure if I wanted something really frou frou here, but I knew, ooh, I knew my mom was frou frou, so. Okay. I'm not going to go entirely around just because um, I want to go back in with this one, but I also want to add another layer of another trim. So I don't want to go around this way with the trim. See, I don't think that's what I want. Yeah, nah, I don't want that. Um, so we're going to cut here. Cut the little journey here. We could probably do the back. Let's do the back because I know I want it to be the same. So let's do this side that way, and then we'll cut. I'm knocking everything down. And overboard. Then we'll be using some of the um, chipboard embellishments, the words um, uh, from Wantus Graph, the angel and mother. I'm going to use those and I'm going to pull out my chalk paint to distress it like I typically do. And we are going to make a angel album. My lint roller wants to come. It wants to pick up some of this glue webs, ladies. That is coming. It's, it's working its way over here. So let's let's get it. Let's nuke all those little glue webs. All right. So yes, ladies, this would be a perfect, perfect little project that you can. I've, it's taken me ten years to actually sit down and be able to do this. I um, I have a hard time looking at my mother's pictures. Um, without breaking up. So, um, we do break up. I do apologize. Um, but if you've ever lost anyone you've loved, you would understand the feeling. So, like that. End it here. Okay. And I'll go in and seal those edges. Okay, so now we have that, and then I'm going to go pull out another. And I'm thinking maybe we'll do this here. Oh, this one gives me a pain. Oh, this mesh. So I might just go in and kind of cover up those edges with that or I really am not a fan of messing with that one. I 
can go with this one. And I think I like the dangle. Oh yeah. And she loved my mom loved flowers. Oh my gosh, she has such a beautiful green thumb. I don't know, um, I didn't get that ability. But she had such an awesome green thumb. So we're gonna go and hit this around here like that and then we're I'm gonna clean up these edges with a gimp so we'll be back okay so I went and I was digging and I might go with this one because I like the color and we're gonna go around the edge and you can purchase this uh, Chinese braid trim at one to scrap store um, and it's a beautiful Chinese braid trim and I've been finding all my chipboard embellishments for this project as well because um, I wanted to put some of the beautiful chipboard embellishments that Wanna Scrap has uh, for this project. They have a Mother, they have Love, they have Angel, Friends, um, just a lot of little things that you can add to your album to give it that special touch and you can also add some of your special um, things that you might have as well in your possession so all right we're gonna cut it off there clean up some of that blue web Get my trash out, ladies. I'm having trash overflow, massive trash overflow. Okay, so we decided to go with this one. And I'm gonna trim, cut off a piece here. Snip this off and that is that there and then we're going to go and put this one here. I'm wondering if a dangle, another dangle would look pretty here as well. My mom loved, loved, loved flowers. Hey Carla, do you think there is a trim over there that's white and dangling? Right around there right around there behind that one let's see how that one will look I have my car my daughter here all right let's see before I glue that down let's see how this will look there like that. Nope, don't like that. Don't like it. Not my cup of tea. I've had this trim for a while now and I have not used too much of it because it's not something I always use. Okay, so we're going to go with that one there. And I'm going to grab some doilies because my mom loved doilies. Yeah, let's see what we have in my little mystery cart here. And I did like this color. Let's see this color. Then I have this. This is pretty. That would be pretty there. And we can put that there. And the hardest part, selecting a picture of a beautiful person. That's my mom when she was probably about 15. And that is her there. What else do we have? some different things. What did I do with them? I had some wings. That it, see, see what I have some chipboard wings over there, Carla, if you want to scrap. 
I know I selected some wings. Little tiny ones should be on the floor. Are they not on the floor? Hmm? I just picked them out. I must have. Oh, never mind, Mommy. They're here. They were just kind of covered. Okay, so we have these one of scrap ones. And if you don't mind grabbing me the paint, the chalk what? paint, the chalk paint. I have these little wings, so I wanted to use these little wings on her. Thank you, Mommy. Mm -hmm. Those are the one of scrap ones. So we can go that way on it. So let's get this first done. And I'm just using the same chalk paint, same little technique that I always use. We're just going to go in with the finger so that we can get really nice, good texture. Okay. And we'll set it aside there. And when we're ready for it, we have it done. And that's what I like about these. You can use anything on them. And I'll use the word love because I loved, love, love, loved my mother. And what are we going to use? What else? What are we going to use? What else are we going to use? My wipes here. One of the things about this chalk, this chalk paint is, oh boy, it is, it sometimes can be a little hard to get it off your finger. So I want to be wiping it off here and there because if not, I will have a hard time getting it off. So and there's some other words that I selected. I'm going to have a lot of stuff on my desk, ladies. And you know how I get. All right, so we're going to go in with the word angel. And they have them in different sizes, so I picked a little bit of a smaller size um, for this project so that it'll fit perfectly snugged on this album. Okay, so we're going to paint that one. And my kids called my mom Mama. And I need to find a picture of all of my kids with my mom. I don't think we ever got one, did we, Carla? Pictures of mom with the, all of all of you guys. Mm mm. Oh. Kind of mm -hmm. Go. And we're gonna go with mother. And I just got a little bit on the, the lid. Makes it easier than dipping my finger in the jar. So this is the word mother. And again, it comes in different sizes. Uh, I think they have a larger size than this one. Um, I should just a little more. <clears throat> but yeah, you can get it in different sizes. Um, depending on how big you want it for your project. But I ordered the smaller size for this project. All right. So now we have, see, it's a bigger one, mom. And we called my mom mommy, not how you would typically M-O-M-M-Y. It's uh, Spanish, it's M-A-M-I, with a little accent. Um, that's what we called our mom, mommy. And then, of course, my kids called her mama. And I did the front and the back. I'm going to put them all there. Um, and I'm going to do forever, because I will forever love her. Hundred years can go by, ladies, and I will forever love her. Okay. 
it's really important that you always respect your mother irregardless of whatever your mother or your father whatever may have transpired in your life it's very important okay wipe my hands okay move some of this out of the way. So we have that and some of the elements that she liked and we're going to go with some distress ink on the angel leaves. And we're going to use vintage photos as always. We're using Vintage Photos by Tim Holtz. Let's get these things done, and we're just going to do the same thing we always do. Okay. All right, so I'm ready to glue. Let's begin by moving this out and let's start with this one here. Let's go with this one first. Let's do this. This is a beautiful little doily. And because of how thin it is, we have to be really careful so we're not getting a lot of glue webs or globs. We don't need it, okay? So we're going to try to just kind of get it where we want it to go and cut out any extras. All right, now let's trim a little. I know what a shame, right? To cut this beautiful antique piece, but it's worth it. It's for my mother. She is worth it. She is. Every bit of it. And I will probably put a mirror in here because one of those little chipboard embellishments from Wanda Scrap, because my mom was, she was always in the mirror. <laughs> She was always. In fact, my daughter inherited her compact. She had. She always had a little compact mirror where she was always looking into it. And my daughter inherited that one. Let's get this past. Okay. So now we're going to go with this trim. We're just going to go get the areas we're going to cover. And I'm just going to do one flower at a time on this one just to get really good, uh, precise coverage. Rush through this one. So this is going to be a long tutorial, ladies. And you will hear me talking a lot about my mom, and I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but this is nice to be able to do something like this finally, once and for all. I 
Okay. So trim there. Now we're going to work on the picture. And again, that is her when she was 15. And we have to peel this off. Oops, you need these little fabric pieces printables a lot easier. Right. Well, I think I might just try to see if I print her name out. Add it in here. Okay. Then we're going to go and put some trim around that. And what are we going to add? Hmm. That's a good question, May. That's a really good question. Let's see what we find. Okay, so we're going to go with this trim here I had in my stash. I'm just going to cut it where I want to place it. And I'm using about three of the scallops on each. And let's see. Yeah, about three. Three and three. down first. And put the top and then I'll do the sides. something with this glue gun. It's like in my way. Keeps hitting my chair. So I'm going to do that way. And then we're going to go. <clears throat> I actually had this fringe one I wanted to do an overlay on. I'm going to do that first. Let's try something else. Okay, so we have this antique trim, and my mom was all about her antique trims. So we're going to go in here and I'm going to make it almost look like it's a little dress. She was all about antiques, and she was, she loved that kind of stuff. Um, she loved going to the flea market and you know, seeing what she can find and um, yard sale. She was a yard sale fanatic. As soon as she saw a yard sale, my mom was running to go to the yard sale. All right. And gather it as much as we can. All right. Really nice and Oops. Luffy there. Make a little dress. Do 
okay. And then we'll just drill it over here. Um, we are going to, my mom loved wearing jogging pants that were something, jogging pants and jeans. She wasn't much of a dress kind of a person, but I'm going to go ahead and give her a dress this time. Just this time, Mom, okay? All right. <clears throat> we have this beautiful applique. And we're going to go around there. Actually, this way. But I'm going to trim some of this because it's too long. And some of this I can use it for something else. And I'm going to attach these little wings before I forget. And they're the chipboard wings from Want to Scrap. I'm just trying to give it a little bit of an angle there. She is my angel. And then I'm going to go in and glue down my applique. Like I said, this is going to have a lot of little stuff in it, so it might take me a while to get this one complete. I might get there, ladies. And the best way to do this is to make sure you get into the embroidered stitch. That way the glue is not over, um, like peering out of the applique or the trim. You have a huge old glob of glue. beautiful angel and now I'm going to pick a cute little quote I might go with this one a strong person is not the one who doesn't cry a strong person is the one who cries and sheds tears for a moment then gets up and fights again and my mom was definitely a fighter God was she a fighter she had a fighting spirit on her um, to the very end, she fought really hard. And you have 99.9% .9 of your body covered in cancer. And you choose to die with no morphine or anything. That woman was a fighter. So I'm going to put that little quote there because she was a fighter for me. And she made me who I am. She made me be a strong, strong person. I know I have my moments that I break down, and um, but she made me um, grow up to be a fighter, to um, just to fight, to um, you know, stand up for what is right. She was, she made me who I am. I am who I am because of my mother, and I'm forever grateful that she made me that person, that person that I am. Okay, so we're going to glue that down. She taught me that when life gave you lemons, you made lemonade with it. No matter how hard times were, you got up and you fought. And that fighting spirit 
was very, very important in my life. She taught me many, many things in my life. And she was very important to me. She was a beautiful person inside and a beautiful person outside. And she was just a beautiful person. Very beautiful. Everyone that knew her said she was a very beautiful person. Very caring. Very giving. I guess that's where I get it from. She also taught me that sometimes there are people that will come in and try to take advantage of you and you have to learn not to give in. All right, so we're going to go in with some other little appliques because I need something else. Something else. So let's see what we find. Not sure about that. I'm sorry I go quiet for a minute because I'm thinking. <laughs> 